This is gonna need three minutes. So we have the tag team turmoil match, but let's get this. This is for the Raw Tag Team Champions. I didn't say that wrong. I didn't mishear it. They said it all match, all 50 minutes of it, for the Raw Tag Team Champions. Raw's tag teams were fucking screwed. How can Drew McIntyre and Sheamus on SmackDown go for both titles, for the undisputed tag team champions, but when you come to the Raw tag teams, only for the Raw? Do they not deserve it? Anyway, fucking idiots. So, we have Judgment Day, Finn Balor, and Damian Priest, that's going to be important, taking on the OC. Finally structured tag team match, nothing wrong with it, roll up for the win, OC is out. Really good thing you made them return, didn't ya? So, the same two... Judgment Day, taking on Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin. They had a decent match. People were getting more and more excited about it because the energy was starting to go up, and they realized that they're actually going to see a good match here, and it was the South of Heaven and Coup de Gras for them to win again. So two solid tag team matches from the word go. Then we get to Judgment Day taking on the Alpha Academy, same two members of Judgment Day, and my God, I don't know why, but they loved Otis in this show. He got... I think the biggest pop of anybody so far on Raw. And it was a big clothesline by Damian Priest to Otis for Judgment Day to win. But over the course of the match, Otis splashed on top of Gable, who was laying on top of Balor, and Balor's ribs got hurt. So he had to be replaced with Dominic. I just I for, totally forgot I had pictures of this. So yeah, totally my bad. I love this one because Otis just <laughs> in midair. Oh shit, I don't have the last picture. Nah, I'm not going to get it, so we're just going to see Dominic's GTA drip. So this is where Judgment Day took on the Street Profits, and this was by far the best match of the five? Yeah, five. Jesus Christ. Apparently, I can't count. There were four matches. Woo, Tiger Heights really doing well. I need more coffee or a shot of whiskey or something. But yeah, this was a good match. I think the whole turmoil was a good match. And it was a roll-up with feet on the ropes for the win. People hated Dominic, and it was just so great. And I think this is going to be a really good match. I hope it is Priest and Balor, but with Dominic, that may not be a bad idea either. Maybe put Balor in more of a main event option or have him go for the United States champion. People hated this decision, and Dominic is just so great at getting people to hate him. So now they're the number one contenders for the Raw Tag Team Champions. Short end of the stick. Tiger Height needs a nap because I am all over the place today. Definitely a thumbs up.